You briefed the press, did you not, when you were there? Well, I had several jobs. One of my jobs was that of analyst. Uh, I also was an interrogator and indeed briefed the press when we, the CIA, wanted to um, circulate disinformation on a particular issue. Disinformation is not necessarily, uh, not necessarily a lie. It may be a half-truth. And uh, we would pick out a journalist. I would go do the briefing and uh, hope that he would put the information in print. For instance, uh, if we wanted to get uh, across to the American public that the North Vietnamese were building up their force structure in South Vietnam, I would go to a journalist and advise him that in the past uh, six months, X number of North Vietnamese forces had come down the Ho Chi Minh Trail system through southern Laos. Now, there is no way a journalist can check that information. So either he goes with the information or he doesn't, and ordinarily or usually, the journalist would go with it because it, was, it looked like some kind of exclusive. And um, I would say our percentage of planning that kind of data was uh, 70 to 80 percent. The correspondents we targeted were those who had terrific influence, the most uh, respected journalists in Saigon, like Robert Chaplin of the New Yorker magazine, Kai's Beach uh, of the Los Angeles Times from time to time, and also he worked for the Chicago Daily News. Uh, Bud Merrick of U.S. News and World Report, uh, Malcolm Brown of the New York Times, uh, even Maynard Parker of Newsweek magazine. Uh, we would uh, go after these gentlemen. Uh, I would uh, be directed to cultivate them, to spend time with them at uh, the Caravel Hotel or the Continental Hotel, to socialize with them, and, and slowly but surely to try to gain their confidence by dolloping out uh, valid information, information which was true. And then I would drop in a, into a conversation the data that we wanted to get across which might not be true. Uh, one piece of data, for instance, uh, that uh, we managed to plan in the New Yorker magazine had to do with uh, a supposed North Vietnamese effort in 1973 to develop airfields along the border of South Vietnam. The reason we wanted to plant this information was that uh, we were trying to persuade the U.S. Congress that Saigon should uh, be continued to, uh, should continue to get a great deal of aid. Uh, and that uh, the North Vietnamese were the chief violators of the ceasefire accord. That was printed in uh, the New Yorker magazine under the byline of Robert Chaplin, as indeed was a great deal of such information which, uh, which we tried to circulate. If I planted a piece of information with a reporter, I would ordinarily then try to create an environment in which he could not check the information. I would go to the British ambassador and brief him on the disinformation I had just given the reporter. So when the reporter wanted to cross-check what I told him with, uh, say, the British ambassador, New Zealand ambassador, or what have you, he would get false confirmation, the same message coming back at him. He'd say, aha, I've got proof that Frank Snap told me the truth, when in fact what he'd gotten was simply an echo of what uh, I'd given him in the first place via the British ambassador or other of our friendly diplomatic contacts. I am, as an ex-CI agent, uh, opposed to the disinformation activities uh, in which I was involved. I admit that I was involved and I think it uh, uh, served no useful purpose. Uh, propagandizing the American uh, public or Congress is not the CIA's job.